Greetings from El Toro. It's the holiday season and I've got the perfect gift for you, El Toro Apparel. Visit my website to purchase exclusive apparel and clothing. Not sure what to get your loved one? Well, don't forget that we have gift cards. With any gift card purchase of $50 or more, you'll receive a free five-minute phone session with me. Happy holidays and thank you. Head on over to the website. Bye. Hi Aries, it's Al here to do your mid-monthly November, mid-November reading. Somebody went to somebody, gave somebody a really bold message. It could have even been an ultimatum or something of that sort. It just was a message of, and it put that person into a place of having to really go into deep introspective mode reflective mode in, in regards to what they're doing this could be a cancer pisces scorpio this could be another flyer sign like yourself this could be capricorn virgo taurus um, this could be an air sign gemini libra Aquarius. so everybody's there um, you may not be talking to this person right now there, or there's not a lot of talk you know it's very strange This person is very much in love with you, and I think vice versa, but there's opposition. There's, there's a hurdle, which could very well be somebody else, you know, someone else is in the middle of. So let's see what's going on. See if we can get some general energy for Aries. Business looks, is growing, is growing. Um, whether that's you have your own business or you, you work for someone, whatever it is you're doing is growing. It's stable. Seven of Cups at the bottom of the deck. The Lovers, the Tower, Five of Swords, Five of Cups. Wow. Someone has a choice to make. Before this choice, there was a, a conversation. There was some, some communication that came in that brought somebody to a choice. It, it was almost unexpected. Unexpected. This could be to you or from you, Aries. There was. This is a situation where nobody wins, but you've been fighting this battle for a while. I feel as if Aries is at a place of, okay, I'll grieve this situation if it doesn't turn out in my favor. You could have received communication or given communication of this. like bold statement or ultimatum to Scorpio, Gemini, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. It made someone, maybe a, a water sign, very emotionally confused. They reminisce about the past and about what you guys have and may even look at you as a soulmate, but at the same time, there's there's something here. There's opposition here. There's someone else. There's something else that keeps this is interference that keeps uh, that keeps them from making a change. They hesitate before making a change here with the five of cups. They're grieving the situation before they do and even do anything. Wow. 
what do you have to tell my single Aries? Thank you, thank you, thank you. What do you have to tell the single, single Aries? Some of you waiting for somebody. You want to stop waiting for them, but you can't. The connection is very strong. You feel like you're going to get what you want. Some of you have an inner knowing that you will. Some of you are trying to push it down because you're just tired. Or vice versa. They're tired. What do you have to tell my single Aries? Okay, and the world popped out. Yep. Could be dealing with a fixed sign, Scorpio, Leo, Taurus, Aquarius. There's a new chapter, a new development. Something has ended. You've gone as far as you can go here. And you know that and you feel it. And for some of you, it's a, you're going to walk away. Then here's you, Aries. Getting in control of yourself. Taking back your power. You said what you said. Okay? And that is what it is. I said what I said and either we're doing this over and we're having change we're gonna have a complete resur resurrection <laughs> resurrection and a do-over or or let's see what's the next card this card <laughs> of cups like I said for some of you you know you're going to get what you want some of you manifested a cycle ending complete and complete change in, in a cycle maybe for yourself and for your own life wow and then at the bottom of the deck single Aries ace of pentacles you're going to get that new start a foundational one this talks about setting the foundation it is it is for the taking uh, to establish to re-establish um, engagement moving in together making a large purchase getting exactly what you've manifested manifestation is you know <clears throat> putting what you want what you desire out to the universe doing the necessary things that you can do in regards to making it happen but also it's co-creating co um yeah co-creating with the universe that's, what, that's all manifestation is if i want a new car right then i need to take the necessary steps for me to get a new car right it, depending on what kind of car it is i need to have x amount of dollars my credit score if i'm financing needs to be at whatever said said um credit rating so i need to do everything that i could do on a physical plane to make that happen but i'm also praying to whoever it is i believe in or whatever it is i believe in that i will be put in the best opportunities for me to actually make this happen for me that's all manifestation is you know it's it's for us to do the possible and for God, whoever you think that may be, to do the impossible. So when you're asking for our God of the universe to do the possible, uh, you know, to, you know, do something nonsense, you know, like, oh, God, can you pour me a cup of coffee? No, he can't. Come on. Yeah, you know, that's for you to do. Get up, pour your own coffee. Now, if the prayer is, God, I love coffee and I, I just can't afford coffee. I would love to have some coffee, you know, and I'm, and I'm trying to get coffee. Um, put me in the opportunity to place where I'll have coffee. Maybe you may find yourself somewhere and someone buys you, a, a, you know, a free cup of coffee or someone gives you coffee someone knows you love coffee and gives gift card whatever but it looks like aries has done the possible and now they're being blessed 
by way of spirit co-creating to now have the what they want what they desire and it and it coming up and it's showing up in the physical form the manifestation of you know the physical so that's great looks like my single areas are getting what they want um we'll kind of open it up as to why and it may be something that it may be a do-over it may be something that you you put aside or you you walked away from what do we have to say for my couple areas seven of pentacles the lady nine of swords two of swords seven of pentacles the hermit at the bottom of the deck um so for my couple aries it looks like it's a situation of some of you might be pregnant. Might be in your seventh month or something like that. Yeah, it might be pregnant. But there's a lot of despair here. You don't know how this is going to turn out. There's a lot of worry. There might be some health problems for my couple. Aries, some of your mothers, you might have some woman issues where you have to get a surgery. There has to be something done here. These are, this is health related. This is, uh, you know, the, the female reproductive system, some womanly issues here. Um, you don't know if you want to have this uh, surgery or if it's, you need to get a second opinion here. This may be about in regards to what you let happen or what you just let go on for a number of years. Some of you are really trying to get in control of it, of this situation. Um, but it's bringing you a lot of anxiety. Let's see. Let's try to open up the reading just a bit. going on for my seven of pentacles the lady nine of swords two of swords this this might need to happen this surgery might need to happen um, some of you are really trying to heal yourself and think about what you can do holistically to to cultivate better health with the hermit card here um, just keep falling everywhere jeez okay. what is the world for my single Aries what is the world what's going on what ended the hangman in reverse someone came out of stagnation they came out of um <clears throat> They saw something in a different light, a different perspective, and now they start, they're now taking action. Somebody was in suspended animation about what was going on around them, but now it's action time. They're taking back their power with the Lord here, or with Aries. He was dealing with the Taurus also. Um, somebody's sitting in their own power, and it's like um, they're just having some regeneration in, in their life that's giving them some really foundational, some new foundational start here or it's bringing something back around for them to either have a second chance with second try what 
Wheel of Fortune, King of Pentacles. Wow. That's what I'm saying. Like, Aries got to a place of, okay, I'm no longer go going to try to man manipulate this situation, this energy. Whatever happens, happens. The world, the Wheel of Fortune. This is cycle ending, wheel now turning in my favor. I'm riding the wheel of fortune, no longer trying to manipulate it and make the energy go in the way I see it should be going. Whatever happens, happens because I know I'm guided, divinely guided, sitting in my power. Um, this is also um, someone no longer being attached to an outcome maybe in regards to finding a husband a husband uh, a king of pentacles or someone who uh, could be a husband or somebody else's husband someone bogged down in obligation someone who has a lot of obligation um, this also could be air this could be an Aries who is letting things happen in their own um, career and finance sector and doing exact it's just like what I said like somebody is just I'm doing everything I can do in the physical plane what spirit is doing is matching my energy I'm co-creating what it is I want what I desire and I will see the physical manifestation of so it's just like somebody just let go just like you know at first it was a whole bunch of hoopla and and doing this and doing that and you know and now it's just like hey whatever happens happens seven of wands yeah you worked hard for this you worked hard for this and you will and you're still working hard for it. you will wow yeah the strength card some of you are dealing with a leo or you just need to have the strength and knowing that change a fortunate change is coming or has come or will present itself um you've worked hard to have wish fulfillment to have the manifestation of and um you're still hanging in there knowing that you've done your work okay what's going on for my couple my couple Aries. You know, so it's, yeah, so you got some truth and clarity about some some woman issues. Seven, eight of wands. Yeah, you you're gonna you have a rapid communication about taking the next step. What is that? What does that look like? Maybe in regards to your health and and well being. Ten of swords. Yeah, it was the moon. Wow. You get the Ace of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck too. Um, Aries, if this is not you dealing with health related issues, this was somebody got truth and clarity about maybe a, why there was or why there is trouble in a relationship. It could have been about jealousy or greed or something of that nature. It caused the ultimate ending, the betrayal, the but all of the the hurt and the pain is over it's done with there may be still secrets and or lies can you know concerning this concerning that somebody else is pregnant or that someone else is um yeah that's some there's another another party here at play can you give me some more cards what is this ace of pentacles Knight of Cups. Yeah, somebody's pregnant. Somebody held this. Someone was holding secrets. You know, temperance. Someone, um, Aries, somebody, somebody else wants to marry you too. Like, I don't know if you're already coupled or you're already married. Six of yeah. Try to get to a more peaceful place. It's just not peace. There's no peace here. Six of wands, six of swords, six ace of swords. Yeah, you want a new start. You put, it looks like Aries is putting themselves first. Even in the midst of 
Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, somebody. I really feel like there's someone wanting. They don't know what to do. They're trying to figure out what it is they do. In regards to this relationship, Four of Wands. Let's go ahead and get some angel answers in here. Then let's clarify over at the website to see how the couple... It looks like my single Aries has got it together. Like, you know, not even phased. Um, my, my couple Aries, is, it's like you have to, you're already in a relationship. Then you have someone else trying to offer you something also at the same time. Or you're, or you're doing this with someone else. You're trying to make a decision. Do I stay in my current situation? Or do I go elsewhere? You, you very much could be in love with this person. Could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Okay. okay. Ask your angels. For my single Aries. Ask your angels. So, if you have a question out there, the advice is ask your angels. All right. And for my couple, Aries. Communicate clearly. Yeah. With the Ace of Sword. Some of you say what it is you really, really want. There's pregnancy here. There's woman issues. There's somebody in. You are the other woman in a situation. In a relationship. You want to solidify the relationship. You want this other person to take you serious. They very well may be in a relationship too. It's just. You feel like it's like a twin flame type of situation too. Like I don't know. Alright, so let's clarify over at the website. Thank you, Aries, for tuning in. I hope this gave you a bit of clarity in regards to your situation. Know that it is a general reading. Um, go ahead and request a personal reading to get your own energy. Uh, head over to my website. Uh, take advantage of gift cards and uh, apparel and merchandise there, um, especially for the holidays. Uh, thank you. Take care. And if you're in the States, happy Thanksgiving. Bye.